What's up, Yup Gang? It's your boy Taxon, and welcome back to Yup DBS TV Things. And today we're going over another very exciting battle, guys. It's going to be round one of our local this week. This is going to be Supreme Kai of Time versus Android 21. But before we get into it, guys, I do want to say if you guys want any custom mats and or sleeves, absolutely check out Pro Mats, guys. This is the best place to go get your custom card needs. And if you guys do decide to get a mat from them, make sure you guys use the promo code Yup to save on your entire order. With that being said, guys, if you guys enjoyed this battle or my content in general, remember to hit all those buttons for me. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so you never miss a video. And with that being said, let's turn it around and dive in. Alrighty, you guys, and here we are with round one. We have Android 21 on the right side versus Supreme Kai on the left. Looks like Kai is starting off this game first, starting by charging himself in energy. Android 21's field spell starting off by placing some tokens over there. And then we see... Uh, Supre uh, Supreme Kai using the discard effect of his counter counter to top 5 search for a Goku or a Vegeta Zeno. Looks like he does manage to find himself another Goku Zeno. Going over to Android 21's turn 1, charging himself the multicolor Super 17 that has energy exhaust of your leaders in Android 21. Using the leader effect to pop a token, draw a card, untap a multicolor at the start of the next turn. Swing with the leader deals the damage. We're going to see the one energy investment for the top five searcher, uh, 18, which is going to pop a uh, pick back up the energy and play something else down at the end of the turn. So we do see the cast of the Android 16. It pops a token and then it allows itself to play two tokens at the start of his opponent's main phase. So next turn and. Uh, Supreme Kai will get four tokens. So we see the charge, four tokens arrive. And we're going to see what uh, Supreme Kai can do for turn two here. Supreme Kai having to play around the field spell here, so things can be difficult having to find a body to play that can get the summoning sickness before uh, playing out his own attackers. Looks like leaving it at 10k and Android 21 decides to combo off at 5k from field. Is he charging that? We're going to see the one energy investment for the unison here. Getting, coming out with one marker. This is going to be what allows the leader to start doing his uh, overarm shenanigans and also getting the wormhole. So we do see the overarm of the counter Goku. It looks like his opening hand wasn't the greatest. He does get the burst off on the unison, unfortunately not hitting a super combo there and then using the effect on the Goku to warp himself, draw two, and then discard or warp a card from hand. And it looks like we're going to see the uptick on the unison, placing two back. And then we have to uh, pass turn back over to Android 21. Android 21 starting by charging the Super 17 once again. Using the leader effect, popping a token, drawing a card, swinging with the leader, dealing the damage, and then paying one for yet another 18, which is going to top five search for an Android card. And then, of course, the pick up energy and place one down effect at the end of the turn. That one drop does get the summoning sickness because that fuel spell does affect both players. So it looks like Android 21 not having any much else to do here. We're going to see the past turn. He charges himself, uh, Supreme Kai charges an energy, and then he gets four more tokens. Due to the 16, very strong. We're probably going to see him utilize them as an attacker soon because... Unless the unless the 16's effect where he can't attack with them the next turn is live, then he's going to be able to attack with them. So, uh, noticing here that he hasn't seen his unison, so he is going to be paying the price for that. I'm sure. Starting off by swinging with the leader, we're going to see the burst three draw one card. The 10k does land. 
going down to 7 life on 21 side of the field. We're going to see the overarm 3. This guy is a draw to warp 1. This guy does get the summoning sickness from the field spell. Warping a unison from hand that is a dead card. We're going to see the burst from the unison on the auto. And then we're going to see the leader effect to awaken draw 2 since he has 8 or more in the warp. We're going to see one energy investment for the 7 drops uh, crit. This guy does warp 2 cards uh, for a period of time. So basically at the end of the opponent's next turn, those 2 cards that he warped will come back at the end of the turn. We do see the negate of restoration. Restoration does play an Android 16 on his opponent's turn. He does choose to play the 2 drop one that ramps the top card of the deck. He does end up ramping a dimension magic. So we shall see... Another energy being tapped here. We're going to see one energy for the Goten from the warp. We're going to see the 25 double strike here, probably. Going into the leader. Android 21 taking this damage. Honestly, a little bit shocking. But we shall see what else the deck will do. Because he does have yet another overarm uh, uh, ready. I don't know if he has it live or not, but he does have it as an option because he hasn't used the second overarm, and the unison does provide a wormhole, so very nice. We shall see. So we're swinging with the unison here, but comboing off the card with summoning sickness from the field in order to pressure that leader just a little bit more, going 14k essentially. Looks like we're going to start the onslaught of clone tokens, 10k to the leader. We're going to see what Android 21 does here. Starting off with a bean. Or not a bean, I apologize, a Zeno. Picking up an energy, adding it to hand, and then placing down another energy. He does add dimension magic, so he does have options for a few more negates here. Counting that the amount of 10ks that he has to deal with, it looks like he's going to choose to awaken here, otherwise he does get kind of bombarded. So we're going to see one energy, one Z for the Z battle card. It does get desperate mastered. Uh, not a bad play on Android 21 side of the field, using that counterplay in order to go ahead and basically say no to that Z card. It's pretty nice. Desperate measures also allows you to pick up one of your, I believe, two or three cost or less battle cards from your side of the field and add it back to your hand. Looks like he grabbed himself the Android 16 so that he can provide himself another ram next turn. Very nice. So we do see the second overwhelm here. We're going to see uh, man on the mission, double strike crit. And we're going to see restoration once again negating the attack and then playing the Android 16. Another ramp on the opponent's turn. That was a cool little interaction there. Seeing the double restoration there. Not too bad. We're starting off with the leader effect to pop a clone. Drawing a card, we're going to see the unison effect, pop clone, play it in rest mode. He does get to plus two here, being his leader, and his opponent cannot attack with clones for the duration of his next turn. Which is something he should have seen a little earlier, but better late than never, I guess. Starting off by swinging the 20k at the leader, the leader does take that. We're going to see the activation of the championship pack Android 21. This pops a clone token and then free plays itself. It has some other autos that I'm just not quite familiar with, so I do apologize if if you guys know what that card's doing, do let me know. Looks like we're going to see the one energy effect for the top 5 searcher, Android 18. This is also going to have the effect to go ahead and replace an error. I don't know what to call Kind of like cycle out an energy next turn. Not too bad. Or at the end of the turn, not next turn. So we do see the top 5 search handing the Android 16 2 drop. This is going to be the ramp card see if he does that this turn or not. I do not know. He does have three of the check land Super 17s in his energy and only one omen, so that's not the greatest lineup so far, if that's what his uh, main win count is going to be. Okay, not too bad. So he does do his end phase auto there, picking up a 17 and placing down an omen. Very good. Uh, there he does get to spawn some tokens into his opponent's side of the field. And then we're going into turn four for uh, Supreme Kai here. Kai does have quite the field here because he did use his leader effect, so his overarms did stay. He's going to start off by swinging with a 20k double strike critical. Let's 
let's just see what Android 21 decides to do to get out of this attack. If I'm not mistaken, the 4 drop on field is a blocker. Maybe he'll decide to block this. Nope, it looks like he does not negate. Kai almost uses a super combo, but it looks like he decides here just to leave it at... Nope, it looks like he does go ahead and super combo here. Going up to 30k, bottom decking 1 and drawing 2. And Android 21 gets out of that attack just by comboing off battle cards from the field. One being a 1 plus 10k and then a couple... Uh, couple 5k's. It looks like he's going to utilize this combo step to play an arrival. This is the 5 drop bad boy. I believe it's a blocker and then when it gets KO'd it does have the revive skill so it can replay. Very nice. So going with the 25 double strike to the leader. Looks like we're going to see the block here. He does die, but when he oh when he ha when his auto is when he activates blocker, he knocks out the marker off the unison. Very cool there. It looks like we do see the activation of revive, pitching a blue green card from the hand to replay the five drop. Swinging with the seven drop at the leader. It looks like taking that damage to the face. Swinging with the leader to leader next. 15k goes through. Looks like we're going to see the stack on the unison here. Oh, the minus three is going to go ahead and grab two cards from the warp. Looks like he's grabbing man on the mission here. And what else is he going to be grabbing? And the counter counter. Very, very smart here. Looks like we're going to see one energy to discard a card from hand to play his unison from the war pit, pitching himself a Gohan. Very nice setup there, getting the unisons that were in play into the drop area, and also the card that he pitched from hand into the drop area to set up even more overarms here. Very good. Starting off with the overarm 6, this guy's auto does go off and lets him grab anything 3 to 7 from the warp. And then, of course, he's going to get the leader auto, the unison auto. We'll see if he decides to do it. Looks like we may be skipping out on the burst from the unison there. I also believe the leader's effect goes off. Yep, draws a card, puts some... Yep, there goes the unison burst. Okay, so the, the autos were just a little late. Got ahead of himself to th uh, thinking about some attacks. His lines of play there. Swinging with the 30k. If I'm not mistaken, that was the first battle card he played, so he can't attack with that card, if I'm not mistaken. Unless there was a different card already pl played this turn that I just missed. Looks like we're going to see the one energy investment for the 20k critical that warps two cards from the field and then swings for 20k crit. Uh, that does get Dimension Magic to stopping that attack, not wanting to have to deal with that. Not too bad of an idea. He uh, Supreme Kai does still have one more overwhelm here, and then of course he still has the options for things that actually cause energy like Trunks from his warp, uh, the Goten from his warp, thwarting. We'll see what he decides to do here. So it looks like he went ahead and swing with the leader. It looks like he plus on unison first, I apologize. Put two cards from the warp back to the drop and then swing with the uh, 30k 6 drop beyond all limits. And Looks like we're going to see no combos, but Android 21 has to use a super combo and a 1 plus 10k to get out of that attack. So starting off, ooh, he discarded the counter counter Goku champ pack card, or winner stamp, TP I guess I should say, not champ pack. He whiffed on the top 5, but then he went ahead and went to the overrealm 6 for the dual attack trunks. That did get countered. It looks like he went to the bottom of the deck instead of being played, and then we went ahead and played the Thwarting. Thwarting went ahead and used some of those guys from the warp to the drop area to fuse. He swung. He did get negated with Dimension Magic, so we'll see if Kai has any other attacks in order to end this game on this turn. And it looks like he has to pass turn there. His overarm that he played this turn does go away. 
So it looks like we're going into the next turn for Android 21, starting off with his lead skill, popping a token, going ahead and drawing a card. We're going to see the plus two on the unison there, give the leader 5k, can't attack with clones next turn. Starting off by swinging with the leader, I would imagine it's directed at a battle card to try to release some pressure. He does just go ahead and combo a 5k, so it was probably a 20k to 20k. We do see the one energy investment for a Zeno that procs the summoning sickness and draws a card, and then we're going to see the five energy invest. Ooh, or not. We're swinging with the unison first. Comboing a 5k from hand, going to 20. Getting two cards from Kai's hand in order to survive that attack. Looks like we're going to see 2 and 2z two for Beerus. Not a bad card. This card should help clear up the field for Android 21 side of the field here. Swinging with Beerus, his auto pending. We'll see if Petrification stops it or not. Looks like Nona Gates here is going to get the auto to get 5k and then warp something greater than his energy. Looks like he's choosing Thwarting on this first attack. So bottom deck in that bad boy. It looks like we do see the one combo from Kai there in order to stay at a high life. We're going to see two energy investment. He gets to choose to bottom deck another card that's uh, greater than his energy. Uh, greater than uh, Actually, I think the pay two effect isn't required to energy. It's just ignoring barrier. And he swings again and gets rid of yet another card. So that beer is doing his job very well in order to get rid of a lot of that field. Swaying for the last time, getting rid of a uh, 7-drop. That Beerus does a lot of removal in one. Very, very good card. And it looks like Kai does combo out in order to stay at a high life here. Kai's hand, I think he doesn't have any cards in hand. So Kai doesn't have any cards in hand. He's going into his turn 5 here, doing going to do whatever he can to take out 21 here. 21 doing very good at surviving and uh, controlling but his hand size is not great either. So we shall see what he decides to do here. He does have a blocker on field, a super combo in field. He does have his lead skill, uh, or not lead skill, his uh, field skill live. Looks like starting off with the 20k, uh, not comboing there. We're going to see Android 21 use the uh, super combo from the field in order to pick up energy and place a new one down. We're going to see the overarm 3 for Trunks. He does get the summoning sickness. We're going to see leader auto... Uh, it's going to be... Or I apologize. It's unison auto. Leader auto. And then of course the Trunks' auto. All those autos just went off. He chooses the order of which they go off. I am not... I kind of lost what happened there and what order he decided to do them. I'm sure he did them all. Swinging with the unison, comboing one, and then using that Z energy in one for Majin Buu playing himself a big battle card in desperate measures stopping that card we're gonna see the uptick on the unison here placing one two cards back we're gonna see one energy investment for the Goten I imagine from the warp here he does have a trunks in field so it is easily accessible right now. So 25k double strike in play. We're swinging. We're going to see the block here. He does die. We're going to see if he decides to... He does knock a marker off the unison. He does not decide to arrive or revive. I, pri I apologize about that. He doesn't have blue-green in his hand. Only a super combo and a 5k. So we're going to see the leader swing here. 15, we are going to see the super combo, add a card to hand, place one down, one card in hand, and I do believe it's a negate, so we can stop at least one more attack, we're going to see beyond all limits, overwhelm, grabbing the next card, we're going to see him discard it to go looking at the next few cards from hand, add it, swing, it gets restorationed, the negate, we're going to see two energy investment for trunks from the warp for the dual attack, Swinging for that first attack, that damage does get dealt. Swinging once again and then comboing his two 5Ks that he has, and that's enough for Kai to win. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you guys next time.